and that will be set up in the, in the corner over there uh, under the Norman sign. So let me, let me kick things off, um, give you a very short introduction of uh, what the HoneyNet project is, who we're all about. So the HoneyNet project is a, a nonprofit computer security uh, research organization that actually has been around for quite a while. Uh, it was founded back in 2000 by Lance Spitzner uh, and a few other uh, security geeks. Um, some of those, those original uh, members are actually attending here today. Uh, we refer, refer to them as, as the Greybeards uh, from back in the days. Um, and those guys, uh, a small group of, of individuals, just wanted to make a difference in the security world. They got together, collaborated, hacked away, um, uh, developed tools, uh, and uh, deployed honeypots, uh, and, and, and shared those, those research findings with the community. And from that original idea, the HoneyNet project is actually still the same. We are still a bunch of security geeks. Uh, we are all volunteers uh, that want to make a positive difference in the world. Um, all the things that we produce, papers, uh, tools, data feeds, um, are available uh, to the public for free and open source. Uh, and our mission is to learn the tools, tactics, and motives involved in computer and network attacks and share the lessons learned. And that has been the mission uh, since 2000. The structure of the HoneyNet project, um, at the core are full members. Uh, these are uh, 43 individuals who have been uh, with the project for, for many years. And these are organized in chapters. These chapters are distributed internationally um, and are basically a means uh, to pull in uh, new members into the organizations. These are our contributors. Now, the uh, full members then uh, elect uh, the board of directors. Uh, and currently, we have... Um, seven uh, uh, directors. We have Julia Cheng. Where's Julia? She's probably outside. You, you may have met her. And we have Torsten Holtz, who is not attending. We have Jose Nazario, uh, who, who you met earlier. Uh, Lance Spitzner, the original founder of the HoneyNet project. Uh, Karen Nance, who uh, also manned the reception. And Tillman Werner, who is... Tillman? He's all the way in the back there. And then the board of directors uh, basically appoints the officers uh, that, that actually run the organization. As I mentioned, these are all volunteers. Um, so we have uh, Guillaume Akar from France. He's our chief public relations officer, um, security warrior consulting. Where is Guillaume? Over there. Uh, then we have Dave Dittrick from the University of Washington. He's our chief legal officer. He's sitting right over here. We have Max Kilger from Experience Simmons. Where is Max? All the way in the back there. Then we have Fayez Shuja. For, he's our CIO. He's all the way over there. Um, Sebastian Tricot. He's our chief technical officer from PICVIS Labs. And he's actually teaching a class tomorrow on PICVIS, if you're interested. He's sitting over there. And uh, David Watson from Izumata, right over there, our chief uh, research officer. And then myself. Um, I'm the CEO uh, for about a year and a half now uh, after Lance Spitzner, and I actually work full-time at Microsoft uh, in the Windows Live Safety Platform Group. Uh, and then uh, to actually get things done, um, our members and contributors actually form uh, committees uh, that support the officers. So there's a legal committee, a research committee uh, that kind of define the, the agenda um, for, for the next month. As I mentioned, we are um, organized in chapters, and that's basically our current chapter map. We currently have 44 international chapter uh, with about 200 com uh, contributors and uh, 43 full members. Um, last year, when I showed this slide, uh, Africa was all gray. Uh, fortunately, we have now new, two new additions, uh, the Tunisian chapter and the South African chapter that just uh, joined us last year. So what do we actually do? Uh, there, there's basically three main pillars on how we uh, accomplish our mission, uh, awareness, uh, education, and research. And there is a, a whole bunch of activity associated with those three pillars. On the awareness, we have our um, 
our website, Twitter feed, and, and uh, additional social media groups where we just uh, disseminate the information, uh, the research information um, of our members. Then we have a Know Your Enemy uh, white paper series that you can also find um, on our webpage. It's been a while since we published the Know Your Enemy paper. I think the last one was on Configure uh, a couple of years ago that received uh, wide attention. Uh, currently, we are working on a paper um, looking at s uh, social dynamics of hackers. So expect that to uh, be published on our website in the coming months. And then we also participate in the Google Summer of Code, and our research officer will tell you a little bit more about that, so I don't want to steal his thunder. Um, second portion is uh, information and education. Um, so basically, for all those folks that are already aware, we want to um, present them with the uh, latest results, latest uh, threats in the security landscape. So many of our members are actually uh, traveling to workshops, give talks, and, and training classes. We have the HoneyNet Project uh, Security Workshop here. Um, we have uh, Forensic Challenge. Uh, again, that's uh, something that we publish on our website. Uh, we basically present uh, the community with um, data files, malware, and ask uh, a whole bunch of questions around those. So that allows uh, people, students, to participate uh, and, and get their skills um, improved. And then we have the capture of the flag event. Uh, that's something that, again, uh, happens tomorrow. Um, if you have time uh, and are interested, I, I encourage you to consider attending that. Uh, there's some more information about that on our website. And lastly, there's uh, research. Um, this is really at the core of, of what we do, and, and again, um, uh, David Watson will give you an overview of all the research activity within the HoneyNet project. Uh, but we uh, overview, we develop and deploy honeypots and uh, security technology. We develop tools. Again, these are all open source and available for free uh, on our webpage. Uh, many of the tools in the honeypot uh, space, the leading tools, were developed by our members, uh, and you can find those on our webpage. And then we started study captured data in the wild with sensors around the world. If you look at the, the chapter map that we have, um, we have a really diverse uh, group of people um, distributed globally. So that allows us to get sensors in some weird locations. So for instance, we have a sensor in Iran. We have several sensors in China. And that gives us a really unique view in the uh, attack landscape. So this is uh, just a summary on how you uh, can Stay up to date with what's going on in the HoneyNet project. We have our blog. Of course, we have a Facebook group. Um, we have a Twitter feed, uh, Project HoneyNet, LinkedIn group. Then there's uh, some older uh, HoneyNet uh, web uh, mailing lists uh, that you find on Security Focus. And then also we are available on IRC channels. Um, many of our members hang out there, uh, so you can chat with us there. That's all for me. Um, I'm going to hand it over to David Watson. Thank you.